Hey guys, it's Channing. Today I'm going to be shooting another episode of my bridal series. This is um, do-it-yourself or a DIY um, bridal bridal party. Yeah, bridal party bridesmaids gifts. Um, I have one that I made. It's a little, um, I have the, my maid of honors box because she is my sister, so it's in the room next door, so I'm going to show hers, but I will post pictures on my bridal blog down below of the version that I gave to my bridesmaids, and I was actually just asked to be a bridesmaid for the first time, so I have that bag because there's a lot of good ideas in there, and um, let's get into it. Let's do what, um, how I asked my girls. Um, I made little boxes. I wanted to give them just something personalized and something that I made and threw together that would just be cute and memorable without just having to give them a card. Just, I don't know, something cute. So I went to Michael's and I have five, yeah, five bridesmaids. So what I did was I got all these little wooden boxes. They weren't painted when I got them. They're probably a few dollars each, not very expensive at all. They have gold hardware on them. And then I just um, got glue and I put all the girls' initials on the top. My sister's name is Paige, hence the P. And then I just got some glitter and I sprinkled it with glitter and let it dry. It was really easy to do. Um, I got mint paint for all their boxes because I like the color mint. It's not my wedding colors, but um, I just liked the mint and the blue. I mean, I am having a peacock wedding, so it's kind of like the blues, but I had like this quart of, um, I don't know if it's quart, but of mint um, paint that I had got for free and I had never used before. So I just used that. You can get those um, from Home Depot, I think. Yeah, Home Depot. So you can get little things of paint or you can just get regular paint. But I think it looks cool. I only put one coat on it just because I kind of wanted the wood to still kind of show through. That way it's kind of that, um, not rustic, but like old timey look. I mean, you can't really tell on camera, but I like the way they all turned out and the girls love them. So like I said, this is my maid of honor box. My other boxes were a little different. Um, what I did for these cards, instead of going out and buying cards, because they were kind of expensive, um, I had like photo paper that came up with my printer and stuff, or you can just go out and buy photo paper if you already have it. And what I did was I printed off, um, little cards. See, this one kind of got messed up, but this just says, will you be my maid of honor? And you check, of course, maybe, and then only if. And then for theirs, I think it, they said, um, Will you be in my will you be my bridesmaid or something like that? And all I did was print these on construction paper and then with a glue stick I glued them onto the um, photo paper just because I had photo paper lying around and it made it into just a sturdy card and it doesn't come off or anything. So I thought that was an inexpensive way to make little cards. And I guess that's kind of a good thing if you ever need to make a card and you have all these things lying around, it just makes something quick and personalized and you can even like print off your own thing and just gluing it onto the photo paper makes it seem more um, like nicer than just getting a piece of printer paper. So yeah, that was in it. And then in her box, there was a, on, in each little box, I put a candy bar, which she obviously already ate. It was a little Milky Way, which is one of my favorite candies. A little Bath and Body Works, either lotion, body wash, or body spray in all of theirs. She obviously took that out. And then I got, actually got these little fake rose petals from the dollar store. They had this giant thing for a dollar, and you can either get white or pink. I like the pink ones, and I think they might have had red too, but I like the pink. And I just lined the bottom of them in it just because it gives it that nice romantic look, and they were pretty inexpensive. Now for all the girls, I went to um, icing at my mall because they have a lot of like cute bridal stuff. I've gotten a lot of stuff from them for um, really great prices. I got her a maid of honor pin. These are $3.50, so that was a pretty good deal. And then for all the other girls, I got them these bridesmaids pins. Now my sister has both because originally when I went, I didn't get a maid of honor pin. I totally forgot. So she has two of them or if someone forgets one. So when we go to like bridal shows together or um, at the bridal shower or at the bachelor party, they can all wear their pins. I just thought it's a cute little thing to add in there. And um, then for the girls, I just, what else did I give them? I just gave them, oh, I gave them little makeup quads. My sister has hers at college. They were just like little physician's formula. Um, they were just brown eyeshadows that I would like for them to wear on the wedding day. And they can wear it like any other day. So I thought that was cute to throw in. And then in, her, in my maid of honor box, I included, my sister loves pearls. So... I don't know if I will be having her wear these on the actual wedding, but I got her these fresh water pearl earrings. These are just from like Charming Charlie's. And um, I also got her a necklace, also from Charming Charlie's. It's just this cute pearl 
necklace. So um, that's the way I asked my girls. They all love them. On my actual wedding day, I will be putting together like kits and stuff. So I'll probably be probably be making a video about those but these were just the initial gifts to ask and they all love them so let's get into the box that my friend made for or the bag my friend made for me and when she asked me she actually just asked me so she gave me this really cute just bag and we all had we were all there when she asked and she personalized these little tags which I think are really cute and then she actually went and got cards. It just says, I can't tie the knot without you. And inside it just says, will you be a bridesmaid? So that's, if you don't want to do the D, um, do it yourself. That's just a cute little thing to have um, when she asked. So she, like, sorry, I have something on my, she outdid herself. And I wish I would have done more of what she did, but her bag was so cute. She handmade 90% of this bag. So the first thing, I've already used it. She got these mason jars. And then she actually made us all... Um, homemade body scrub which is so cute and such a good idea it did have a bow but I took it off because I took it in the shower and um on my wedding book I will leave the recipe for this but it's just um she told me it's dawn soap with olay so it's moisturizing and cleaning and sugar and let me tell you this stuff as soon as I use it it smells amazing first of all and it's so you know a little goes a long way it's definitely very scrubbable and it's exfoliating but with the dawn olay soap and it lathers so well because I know a lot of scrubs don't really like lather this lathered like a soap but it was also exfoliating like I don't know it was amazing and I was texting her all night like oh my gosh this stuff's amazing so I would definitely if you need to make some like gifts for your bridal shower or for your girls or for guests that attend something this is the way to go and it's cheap sugar and Dawn hand soap um she also made all of us these little coffee cups with our initials on them um she's very crafty so this one obviously has a C and it looks like she kind of just took like a marker or something it looks like a sharpie and then I think you bake these or something but you have to hand wash them but I just thought that was so cute and I love the metallic and um, I think it's a really cute thing to have for years to come and look back on it and be like, oh yeah, I got that because I was a bridesmaid. So that's a cute way to personalize them with um, their initials. And then she made us shirts. Um, she went to, these are Marona, so I'm assuming these are from Target. And she bought us all hot pink shirts and mine says bridesmaid. So, and she made one for the maid of honor that says maid of honor but all you have to do is go to even joann's sells these kind of shirts pretty cheap and you get iron on letters and just iron them on you can have like shirts on the back that for your bachelorette party like we'll probably all wear these on the bachelorette party and i just think it's so such a cute memento and then you can um have it forever i mean it's not like you're really gonna wear this a lot but it's just something cute to have and pretty inexpensive to make because if you're going to go out and buy bridesmaid shirts, especially on like Etsy or something, it's probably over $30, $20 for one of these. And she probably made this in under 10 So I just think it's so cute and the letters are sparkly and it's just a really cute memento for the wedding. And even like you can have your girls, like maybe at the reception, you want them to all wear those shirts with some yoga pants as the night goes on and you guys can get crazy. It's just a cute little thing, a sleep shirt or whatever. It's a cute little shirt and I love it. And then the last thing she threw in here was just a little face mask. So um, I don't know if she wants us to do like spa night or something, but I just thought that was cute. I love face masks. So I have never tried this one. It's from Freeman. It's the diamond mineral rinse mask. So that'll be fun. Maybe I'll save that to do like the night before her wedding. That way um, I can look good see so yeah, that was her version of a bridesmaid um box bag i kind of like wanted to wait till i had a couple i'm actually um probably going to be in another wedding my one friend just got engaged a couple days ago so if i get one from her that's really awesome i will put it up and show you her take on it or if i ever get asked again i will definitely update that so um like i said on my new wedding blog i will post more pictures of this the recipe for that body scrub and um, just some more information as well as this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're liking this series so far. Let me know down below um, any um, requests for wedding videos or other kind of wedding stuff. Or, I mean, I have my other videos, like makeup y videos. But I actually went to Sephora today and asked for a bridal foundation and she like did my whole face makeup and it looked good in the store. But when I got out, I mean, it still looks good, but it's not what I would want. Because look, you can still see like pimples and she said it was full of coverage. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. So um, like this video and I will see you guys later.